underway from Atlanta. Straddling the goal line is Alford. And he gets drilled shy of the 20-yard line. Well, a year ago, they're expecting big things from him in 2014. Empty set for the Mountaineers. They'll go fast today on offense. First down from their 18. Out on the flat to Smallwood. Able to shake a tackle and get positive yardage. Gain of a couple. They run it here and Shell with some room off the left side. Near the first down at the 27-yard line. They have been really excited about Russell Shell, the, the transfer. He's got good size. He's got the shiftiness, 215 pounds. They have got to establish some semblance. They're not going to come out and run the ball 45 times in the interior on Alabama, but they've got to establish some semblance to take pressure off of Clint Trickett. Referee signaling some form of spread. We're going to see a lot of younger players with speed out there defensively for Bama. And Shell again, straight ahead of the 35-yard line. It's a gain of seven. DJ Petway. Positive play so that they can get the tempo going. They don't get those positive yards. It's hard to have tempo. Here's Shell. Picks a hole. Finds another first down. So far, West Virginia. So two first downs already in this possession. Now Trickett. Going to try to swing it out to Mario Alford. Another pass play. There's a dangerous guy, Kevin White, who's loose inside the 40. Kevin White, their biggest players, and Kevin White's got to be the guy on the outside. Bradley Silv just falls down, and that's going to drive Nick Saban crazy. He's the one coach in those corners. Trickett rolling right, and again finds Kevin White near the next. See both backs sprint out wide. Second down and two. Still plenty of time on the play clock. And Trickett tries to dump it off. It was batted down. It was a right read from Clint Trickett. You'll see White coming from right to left. And Brian Reed saves a completion and another first. And a loss in the Sugar Bowl. Here's Wendell Smallwood. And he's got another first down. Drum draft choice of the Ravens. First down in the red zone. And Trickett. Kevin White inside the 10 to the... A nice game. First and goal inside the 10. And a shell wrapped up by Raglan at the line of scrimmage. Rag with in 2013. They were 103rd in the country. He'll run it again on second down. Squeaking through a hole is Wendell Smallwood. He gets... Trickett. Fade to the end zone. Incomplete. Going for all. Know about that play call. Alford is 5-9. It's not like he's, you know, going to go up and, and snatch that ball. And this play had no chance. Good job by Cyrus Jones, who, yes, has been, in Nick Saban's opinion, the most improved player on their team from a year ago. Josh Lambert try a short field goal of about 20 yards. Capitalize on that impressive first drive, even though the Mountaineers couldn't punch it in. And West Virginia leads at 3 nothing. Big on eye discipline, and I think they'll get that figured out. So Michael Molinari will boot it deep, and you would imagine they do not want Christian Jones to return. And he won this Chick-fil-A kickoff game last year. Had two touchdowns on returns against Virginia Tech. One on a kick, one on a punt. A deep kick, though, and it will come out to the 20. And Blake Sims, fifth-year senior, waited his turn patiently, was a running back in 2011, then backed up. A quick throw here by Sims, and a great block downfield, spring on Amari Cooper to midfield before he's pushed out. Completion for Blake Sims, but watch the block by DeAndre White. That is textbook blocking on the perimeter. They worked that so much in practice, and that's well done to start the game. Receiving yards, a freshman record at Alabama. Sims to the air again, finding Cooper again. And brought down inside the 45. Gain of seven on that last play. After 24 on the previous. They're going to run it here with big Derrick Henry, who picks up the first down inside the 40. The running game. You got Henry. Drake and, of course, T.J. Yeldon back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rushing seasons. 
Sims eludes pressure and hits White toward the sideline. Wrapped up and thrown down by Chestnut. So a gain of about three yards there to the 30 point to get the young offense at the quarterback position settled down in situations. Here's T.J. Yeldon off the edge. Stretches to the 30 yard line. Sims with time. And that pass incomplete. Try to hit Cook. Great read. Poor throw. Blake Sims gets back. He's in good position. Here comes Cooper. There he is. You just got to put that out in front of him, and he might decision to throw the ball in coverage. That's just a fundamental. Adam Griffith made just one field goal last year. But he buries this one. It's opening possession. Stopped at the 30. Adam Griffith just kicked a long field goal. Now kicking off. And Offer will take it out. And breaks a tackle. Stays in bounds as he runs upfield. And they're going to actually spot him at the 27 yard line. So he did step. Standing of this up pace air raid offense last year to this year, operating at a much faster pace than Dane is excited about. Trickett trying to set up the screen to Smallwood. Excellent blocking. Smallwood out past the 40. A gain of 14 before Cyrus Jones gets him out of bounds. Great blocking on the screen by the offensive line. That's normally the key. The center, Tyler Orlowski, gets outside and gets a block on Reuben Foster, which springs the outside. And open on the slant is Jordan Thompson. Guy the coaches say needs to step up. He did there with him now. And now that he's healthy and that shoulder is back intact and feeling good, get this offense revved up. Here's another first down. Catch made by Alford. Going off his speed, getting past Cyrus Jones. And Smallwood just stumbled that time. Actually lost a yard, so second down and 11. Again, empty set as those backs split wide. Alabama's confused. Trick it with time. Going deep for White. Just overthrown. Collins with good coverage. And Collins, a very physical safety who's got this cover skills to go on the outside. I think they like that matchup with he on Kevin White because Collins is so big, six feet, 222 pounds. It looked like he got away with a little bit of hand check in there. That field goal, if you take a sack, you got a punt. Yeah, their kicker as long as 50, so they can get it to around the 32. They have a shot. Trickett in trouble and sack at the 43 yard line. Xavier Dixon. Coming from his right defensive end position, he beats Adam Pankey. There he is right here. He just goes right around Pankey and that was an easy sack. You're tricking. You got to know. You got to anticipate. Look, I'm in a third down situation, and the skill that they have to rush the passer might be a little bit better than my tackle, and I got to be quick with that ball. O'Toole booting it away. Mountaineers have some guys down there, but they can't keep it from going into the end zone. It's a touchback. Alabama's ball when we come back. Although there is a penalty. ACC crew today and we're going to see games where we have an eighth official this year but because this is a interconference matchup going to be seven officials and you'll see a an extra one in some Illegal ACC block games. in the back on the return team five dollar half a distance to the goal first down and David Epperly pointing the wrong way to stop West Virginia and force a punt three three here in Atlanta. was bothering him last year as well. His replacement, Blake Sims, backed up on his second possession as a starter at the five-yard line. They're going to run T.J. Yeldon here. Yeldon out to the eight for about three yards. It skills with the offense backed up inside their own 10-yard line. And starting defensive lineman, senior Dontrell Hyman, shaken up on the play. West Virginia trying to replace Will Clark, who was a third-round draft choice, and they have Hyman and also 
And Shaq Riddick is a transfer from Gardner-Webb that they're relying on. Done a good job so far. Second down and seven. So far, Blake Sims three of four passing. Checking the, at the line of scrimmage. Good sign taking control in the, in the noise. Yelled and drilled in the backfield right as he received the handoff by Kate. At the line of scrimmage, I don't think it was the right check, though. You see Dylan come right off the edge. A lot of times, quarterbacks and offensive coordinators, they will check a run to one side. Now penalty flag. I think they had too many guys on the field. Dana Holgerson was trying to call a timeout. Yeah, they had 12 guys out there Time on out. defense. He did get the timeout. West Virginia. Work for the Stars timeout of the half. We'll the difference between who gets this job going forward. And he's going to throw from his end zone and has time and has a completion right at the first down marker. Amari Cooper on the catch at the 15-yard line. Worley and Joseph teamed up on the tackle. And he's short. Or is he? No, they first gave it down. To him. They yeah. gave it to him. I mean, you just can't, you can't jam Amari Cooper at the line of scrimmage, and Darrell Worley is, is the back. You got a two-back set here, which with Fowler as the fullback, Yeldon behind him. Yeldon bounces it to the outside and chopped down at the 19. No conversion. That'll do wonders for someone's confidence. They'll run it on second down and six. And Yeldon gets out to the 23. Terrell Chuck Yeldon. Play clock down to five. Going to be a pass play. Pressure off the edge. And Sims gets rid of it to Cooper. It's a first down to the 27. Well, Sims took a shot too, but released it just in time. Yeah, a little bit of confusion there on the protection. They had a free rusher from the outside on the left. You see it very late. T.J. Yeldon was getting back outside. And Blake Sims was lucky to get that ball out. Able to pick up the first down. Only one incompletion for Sims so far. Off play action now. Sims in trouble. Gets away from three Mountaineers and almost throws an interception. Better just throwing it away that time. He had a jailbreak up front, and he's just trying to throw this football away. Now, as he gets more reps at it, he'll understand that if I'm outside the pocket. No run on second down. Off the edge, Yeldon. A terrific back. Consecutive 1,000. On that last third down and two, they threw the ball. Let's see what they do here. From their own 35-yard line. Play fake. And a little half roll. And Sims trying to earn it himself. And he's tackled close to the first down marker by Carl Joseph. See where they spot it here. They're going to measure on Nick Saban's radar for a while. Everybody's run the spread offense and he really valued Lane Kiffin, his approach as a pro-style coach. Henry on first down, leaps to the 40-yard line for three. Saban told us spread offense. And a big hole here for Derrick Henry. Able to break an ankle tackle and reach the 40. Cam Robinson, the true freshman, they're right here. They get a great slip block up to the linebacker. And good vision by Derrick Henry to cut that ball back. And when he gets in the open field, he is hard to tackle. You can't do back again. That's a ultimate heavy package with those two guys in the backfield. Henry at 240 behind his 250-pound fullback. Yard line here. Prime opportunity to take a play-action shot over the top. Maybe to Mari Cooper. And some movement up front. Contact by the defensive line on the center, Ryan Kelly. Offside on the defense, number 95, five-yard penalty. On the field during that timeout, huddling up Nick Saban in there as well. Second down and two after the penalty. And Sims with all day, but everybody covered. And now Sims finds an open man. It's Jones inside the 20. 
Wrapped up and body slammed by Quick. Put his eyes downfield. He wanted to throw the ball at the top, but it was covered by the safety. So he flips sides of the field, doesn't panic. Run it from here, guys, and you'll see. Keeps his eyes downfield. It's covered. Comes back at the other side, and a great adjustment by Christian Jones to get upfield. That's the kind of poise that Nick Saban, Lane Kiffin are looking for from their quarterback. Don't panic. Don't timeout. Alabama, North Forest Charles timeout. Come back consistently on the next play and don't lose sight of the, of the play clock. That's what he was saying to him. First down at the 15-yard line of West Virginia. Run play, big hole, Yeldon outside, dies for the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Last year, great and effort. Number one in 2014 for T.J. Yeldon. One of the things that makes him so special is his body control. With his feet in the air, being able to get around the pylon, we've seen that. And the Mountaineers couldn't punch it in from two yards out. And then Alabama scored the last nine, looking to make it ten straight with the point after by Griffith. And the Crimson tied on top. And a deep kick. That'll come out to the 25 for West Virginia. But first, let's go back to the studio. Yeah, so once they do that, then I'll, I'll start talking about them otherwise. Kind of a touch shovel pass to Jordan Thompson. Good play. Out to the 39-yard line, 14 yards. Has not stopped this offense yet. Come out here and get some points. I thought it was nice to say the word playoff on, on a college football game. Dreamus Smith getting the touch here out near the 45-yard line. No poles, no computers. Trick it with time. And that pass wide intended for Kevin White. Third down and five. Call the play after they get it from the sideline. Pass to the flat for Alford. And he's into Alabama territory. A nice block on the outside that time. Some of the advantage of this offense is hurry up, get the personnel you want on the field, then take a look, and from the sideline, Dana Holgerson sees he's got him outflanked and takes it for first down. That trick it with time, completes to Alford again. There's some holes in that school against Oklahoma. Great protection there. I had questions as to whether West Virginia could protect. Take a look at this pocket on the right side. Perfect for him to step into that throw. Offer just dropped that one. Tried to set up a play. Screen there for the wide receiver with Thompson blocking. Deep. Third down and two. Play action. And Trickett has a first down. How the call there. Now the left defensive end goes inside for Alabama. He's got contain. Looked like it may have been Denzel Duvall. He lost contain, and that was an easy conversion for West Virginia. And they go back to that full house backfield here on first down. Wendell Smallwood. He's inside the 20. Dragged down by Reggie Raglan. After they get down to the two, but then they couldn't get it home for six points. Had to settle for the field goal. Trick it off play action. Going end zone. And it is caught. Did he hold on? Yes. Touchdown, Kevin White. With star potential, a terrific catch. Kevin White, 6'3", 211 pounds, and he looks put together nicely. He's got muscles on top of muscles. He just out-muscles Bradley Sill there, and that's for Alabama fans. They saw too much of that in the Sugar Bowl. Four touchdown passes. Great response by West Virginia. Go nine plays, 75 yards in just over two minutes. And Lambert. Just sneaks it through. We are tied at 10. Well, you said it. Kevin White had to be a factor. So <laughs> there's some doubters as to whether we're accurate. Michigan State played Notre Dame if you thought they played them early in the year. Early second quarter here in Atlanta, tied at 10. Dave Pash, Brian Greasy, Tom Luganville. And some intriguing opening weekend games, including this one. It'll come out to the 20. The game. And he's going to stay in there. And so far, Lane Kiff and Nick Saban have been happy with what they've seen from number six. It's really the defense right now that's the issue. Run play to Drake, and he gets nothing. And Mountaineers will be a stiff challenge, but so far, they've been up to the challenge. 
Play action. Sims rolling out and fires. Incomplete. Boy, DeAndre White was wide open. It's a naked here. It's one read. You're going to see DeAndre White coming from right to left. And this is a throw you got to make. And I think, you know, you get in those situations and a guy is so wide open and you see. Sims' pass is caught by Cooper, but he's nowhere near the first down. So Alabama has to punt the football. Lane Kiffin was just trying to get out of Dodge and punt the football away. First collegiate punt for J.K. Scott, a true freshman, about 6'5", 155. And he hammers this one. Jordan Thompson fields it. It is 10, wrapped up. They'll mark him down at the six. West Virginia on first down, a big hole again, running the football. It can't bring Shell down. He's out near the 20-yard line for four. Alabama on their heels, run pass. West Virginia's in control of the pace of this game. Now trick it to the air. And a dangerous pass there. Raglan was all played more than just AM and Oklahoma. They played old misses and up tempo and they throttled them. So talent has something to do with it. Shell brought down from behind at the 23 yard place. Ty looking to steal back momentum here and get a stop. Empty set on third down and seven. Here comes a middle screen and open. Smallwood got the first down. Leveled at the 36 yard line. Virginia, another third down conversion. Great block by the center, Orlowski. Take a look at him right in the middle of the screen. He's going to get out on the second level. This is well designed. He gets the block on the linebacker. It gets a big first down. They go right back to the ground this time. Smith is stuck. They're in their fifth and sixth play where they start to get tired. Trick at the throw on second down and eight. And a long pass, juggled, and incomplete. Devontae Mathis could not hang on. Error for West Virginia on offense is, is pretty small. you got to make those plays. And Dana Holgerson was saying this, and Logan Moore, Vernon Davis, K.J. Myers, one of them. Trick it. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. And guys to say, we have an opportunity to be in this game, but you have got to make those plays. Christian Jones is deep. And the fair catch signal, and the fair catch made inside the 12-yard line. Good punt. Blake Sims has taken every snap at quarterback. Play fake here for Sims. And in trouble. Escapes pressure and runs. And good open field stop by Carl Joseph. Minimal game. Yeah, not eligible, Robert, last year, but he's back for the Irish. Meanwhile, Alabama, after having to call a timeout, facing a six, a second and eight, now a penalty marker down. All start. Offense, number 84. Five-yard penalty, second down. Brian Vogler commits the penalty. Sims from his goal line. Everybody covered again. Sims takes off. And a good tackle again in the open field by Carl. You got to make sure everybody's lined up right. You might have motion. You got to check the play clock. There's a lot of thinking going on for a quarterback. Here he is on third down and seven. And Sims finds Cooper. Cooper gets the first down and more. Out to the 32 yard line. Play. And when all else fails and things start to go squirrely, throw it to your best player, Amari Cooper. Just as that's a basically a clear out. You clear out one side of the field and you bring Cooper underneath in man-to-man -man coverage. And Worley, as we mentioned, just can't stick with Amari Cooper. The gain of seven. Tomanon was throwing the ball on the sideline. We'll see what that means. Six minutes to go in the half. Here's big Derrick Henry trying to cut it back. Runs into a wall of West Virginia defenders at the 35, so a three-yard pickup. West pretty fresh. Sims to the air, and it's pulled in by Cooper for a first down. As a freshman, got 10 yards on this play. You watch him in practice, and you watch him in games last year. He's one of the smoothest players in all of college football. When you see smooth players like that that get out of their cuts, they're going to make a lot of plays. Henry finds a gap into West Virginia territory. Two back, 
run the football, play action, mix in a little bit of no huddle. There's some more audibles than I saw last year with this team, so a little bit different. Second down and two, little pistol formation. Henry trying to bounce it to the outside, cannot get the first down. Third down and a long yard. Power football and Yeldon able to push past the marker and get the first down. Sims to the flat and a big hit as DeAndre White. Patient from Worley. Mari Cooper takes a false step and misses that ball. Over 200 yards of total offense. Alabama at 188 here in the first half. Sims. And that one's juggled and incomplete. White couldn't hang on. Tom Bradley to dial something up. Fourth defensive coordinator they've had at West Virginia in four years. Tony Gibson, who had been on the staff at his first run as the D.C. with West Virginia. Play fake on third down and long. Sims throwing it underneath to White. Makes a couple of men miss. White still going inside the 35. Inside the 20-yard line. And finally knocked out of bounds. To come up and make the tackle, and then you're getting off the field. But three, four, five guys miss DeAndre White. Great effort on his part, but West Virginia played that perfectly. Just couldn't come up and make the tackle. And now they've got K.J. Dillon, who's shaking up on the play. But now, instead of getting the ball back with two timeouts, some time. And while... Dillon tries to get off the field. He's checking with Tom, who's been hanging around that Alabama sideline near Lane Kiffin. And a first down and goal at the West Virginia eight-yard line. Here's Yeldon. Yeldon dives. And he's down just short of the goal line. And goal at the one. Look how his athletic move by T.J. Yeldon. Flying through the air, he comes up just short. They're quickly to the line here, Greece. They're going to snap it quick, and then a timeout the previous call. Previous play is under further review by the officials. Ruling on the field as the ball was short of the goal line. Again, it has to be indisputable. Second down. Now, because West Virginia goes so quickly, even if they do surrender points here, they'll have some time. Last year, five were for scores. It's Yeldon, and Yeldon is in. Touchdown, Alabama. Crimson Tide back on top, second. Coming on, start warming up, and then a big play to DeAndre White may have changed the complexion of that position in this game. So 13 play, 88-yard drive, capped by the Yeldon touchdown. One after makes it 17 to 10. He's got, he's got this son that happens to play in the National Football League that he wants to go watch him too, so uh, it's going to be hard for these guys to watch all these games. Here's Alford on the return. And yeah, Alford able to shake one tackle. Alford is loose. Look out. Alford past midfield. The race is on. Alford will take it all the way. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And they were looking just to make sure that he didn't step out of bounds at any point. He stayed in, so it is a touchdown. Lambert looking to tie it with 143 to go in the half. And all even at 17. Take a look at this. Alford had great blocking at the point of attack. And then one little stutter step. You're right. And then gets around the outside. That was Derrick Henry that's on special teams. Alabama uses a lot of starters on their special teams unit. Landon Collins, Derrick Henry, they're all on that kickoff unit. And Mario Alford and his, his speed may have just been a nominee for Sports Center top 10. Well, you talked about it earlier. Nick Saban wants to run the football for Alabama, but that was a breakdown in their lanes. Remember, West Virginia was 4-8 and eight last year, 6-12 and 12 in the Big 12 the last two years. Maybe better things are ahead in 2014, though. Christian Jones, who returned to kickoff for a score in this game last year. And Jones trying to get outside. Slips a tackle at the 20. Causes two Mountaineers to run into each other, and then Jones gets out of bounds near the 20. They're going to keep it on the ground on first down, and there's no running room for T.J. Yeldon. Only a game. We got to let him throw the football. 
They will here. Sims moving to his right, dumps it off. White brought down in play at the 29 yard line, so they only gained a count. They are six of eight on third down. Need to get to the 36 yard line. Sims, and again, everybody covered, so Sims will run and get the first down. Stays inbounds, and then steps out near mid. On first down. Sims unloads and finds White inside the 40-yard line. So the clock will stop to reset the chains with 20 seconds left. That was a nice throw from Blake Sims. Going to look to the sideline here to Christian Jones. And he got out. Clock will stop with nine seconds left. A better shot. Nine seconds left. Second down. Sims throws. And a catch made by Cooper. Call timeout. Four seconds. That's right. They lost to Texas in overtime. But they took, they took Texas to overtime. 41-yard try. Snap a little bit high. And the kick is good. At the horn, Adam Griffith buries a 41-yard field goal to give Alabama the lead at halftime. Alabama, Nick Saban was telling us yesterday, you know, they normally run about 65 plays. He made that comment after seeing that AM ran 99 plays on Thursday. Alabama will get the ball to start the second half. Christian Jones and Andrew White are deep. Here's Jones. Couple of the returns for scores in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game last year, but bottled up short of the 25-yard line. And as Grease said, only four incompletions in that first half. He's going to roll left and throw here, and that was nearly picked off. Go back and take a look at it. He's rolling out and tries to throw that ball. I mean, it went right through the hands of Witikowski. So that's what that's Tonkery, the linebacker. Yeldon with two first half touchdowns after 14 rushing scores a year ago. Another pass play here. Sims setting up, airing it out, going for Cooper, and another penalty flag. True freshman Drake back, Mountaineer penalties. First shot that he's taken downfield. Pass interference. Defense number six, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. And they ran a double move. They ran a slam and go on the outside, thinking that they would get to get a bite from Darrell Worley. There is no bite. Worley plays it really well and over the top, a little bit underthrown. And I don't. No, come over there and get your arm in there. That's not interference. I, I that's a yeah, sorry. Dude. Normally, the only way you get a call there is if you fight back to the ball. But Cooper didn't do that. No. Here's Yeldon off the edge. Grabbed at the 47-yard line, gets some help from teammates. There is another penalty marker down. They'll spot the ball at the 44-yard line. See what the penalty's for. Some new starters on that offensive line for Alabama, including the left tackle Cam Robinson, a true freshman. Holding. Offense, number 72. Wasn't able to crack the starting lineup, but he's a top reserve. They're replacing Cyrus Quanjo, second-round pick. at left tackle spot. And lobbing it downfield, a beautiful throw by Sims, pulled in by DeAndre White. Got an injured Alabama player, it's DeAndre White, 19-yard pass play. See play action here, and a very, got to anticipate and throw with touch here. What happens to Andrew White here? He comes down hard. You hope that he just gets the wind knocked out of him. Clean hit by the defender. I think his head hit the turf there. It looked like pretty hard. I know you got a young quarterback. Throw the ball up. Let him make a play. So they got 19 yards there on first down and 20. Now they'll pound it with Yeldon. And he's able to pinball off defenders and get the first down to the 40-yard line. Quarterback. McCarron had great numbers. Think about it. He was the Heisman runner-up through 28 touchdown passes last year. Sims looking downfield again. And incomplete. Trying for Kenyon Drake. Holding. Offense, number 72, 10-yard penalty, first down. That's two penalties on Leon Brown. That's never good when you get circled twice in one drive for holding. <laughs> but, but here it is. Take a look. Leon Brown in pass pro here. It looks like he just got tripped. And, any, you know, 
So first and 20 again. They got 19 yards the last time in this position. Sims passing again. Now he steps up, able to spin out of a tackle, and head out of bounds at the 46-yard line. And oh my, there was a collision on the near sideline between two West Virginia players, Hyman and Kwiatkowski. And Kwiatkowski is shaken up. Well, no, Witikowski was coming back, trying to make a make a tackle, and he got blindsided. Let's That's see. Amari Cooper there. It was Cooper. Initially, it's hard to tell if there was a collision. When there was a collision after that initial. Inside the West Virginia 45-yard line. Run play. It's Yeldon. He's inside the 40-yard line before he's shoved out. And that's a gain of about and one of the reasons why he hired him to be his offensive coordinator. Third down and six inside the 40. After Golson was shaken up for West Virginia. They run it. Yeldon. And he's brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Got to isolate Cooper. He's in the slot. Rolling that way is Sims, going for Cooper, overthrow him. West Virginia takes over on downs. Perhaps miscommunication. Max protect, you're going to see, here it comes here, you're going to roll out, and they got one-on-one -on -one coverage. You just got to complete this. This is between the quarterback and receiver. Perfect play call. You just got to give your receiver a chance to come back and make They, they saw exactly what they wanted there, and as a play caller, you can't do much more, and that's... So that's where the you know you have execution and, and coach Saban talks about execution and details and they bit him right there first offensive snap for West Virginia in about an hour real time will have to time wait out. West Virginia oh, the yeah. first charge of the half you have to burn a timeout early in the second half after a change of possession it was going they couldn't get lined up Kevin White who had a big catch in the first half in motion they run Russell Shell and he's mob big hit by Denzel Duvall Michelle, who is a transfer from Pitt. Yeah. Trickett to throw. Moving to his left, and he can run all day. Trickett past midfield, and he steps out of bounds. Nobody on that side of the field for Alabama. What to do when your screen man gets, gets bottled up. You see him right there? He gets, he gets caught up, and you just tuck that ball and run. Shell hammered by Reuben Foster. He'll lose yardage there. So they've tried to run on first down twice. Choice. The two safeties, Clinton Dix and Sanceri gone as well to the pros. Trick it going for a white jump ball. Did he catch it again? He did! Bradley Silve for lunch today. He's going up, getting the ball. He's got size. He's got strength. And when they get one-on-one -on -one with Silve, they're going to take a shot. 27 yards. Now Trickett in trouble. Has to get rid of it. That might be grounding. I don't know if he was outside the pocket. Let's take a look. Yeah, the ball's right on the hash, so it's easy to tell here. No, I think you're right. That's not outside. Yeah, and there's the flag. Good call. Lost it down. Additional grounding on the offense. Number nine. Team now. After the loss of down, Trickett with time. And open in the middle of the field is Shelton Gibson, wrapped up at the 30-yard line. So they got about to operate. Trick it on third down and long. Can't take a sack. And has an open man, but it's dropped by Gibson at the 15-yard line. That's the third drop in this game by wide receivers for West Virginia. He may not have made the yard field goal last year. This is a 47-yarder looking to tie it at 20. No chance. Down. Sims pressure off the edge. Go off Sims saw it, but he's still going. And his pass pulled in by Cooper. The edge, and no, I don't think he saw it until late. He's going to come right here. But this is the kind of athlete that Blake Sims is. You can get an unfree guy, and at the very last minute, just move slightly, not lose your composure. Fine, keep your eyes downfield and make a completion. That's the kind of stuff that that the coaching staff for Alabama wants to see out of Blake Sims. Back to the ground and big Derrick Henry. And Henry keeping those feet moving. Henry gets the first down. So on the previous explosive backs they have on the team. Quick throw to the flat to Cooper out in space. And a nice open field. His position? He certainly has an opportunity to prove it this year. I mean, he's got the talent, the shiftiness, and the smarts. Cut back by Henry, gaping hole, and the West Virginia defense 
And Henry all the way on the outside. Pressure off the edge. It's picked up, and the pass is caught by the fullback Fowler. He's out of bounds. Alabama on the move here, second and three. And Henry with a first down inside the five. Touchdown! Cam Robinson, the true freshman left tackle that they are very high on. And then you get a, a block to lead him out from Justin Fowler, and the rest is Henry. 44 yards on that drive alone for Henry. 85 for the game. Extra point by Griffith makes it a 10-point lead for Alabama. Here's respond. Alford who returned that kickoff for a score in the second quarter is deep. They're going to kick it the other way to Shell. Shell being chased and he's able to somehow get away from one guy, but just too many members of Alabama down there tackling him inside. Packed house here in Atlanta. A lot of Alabama fans, as you would imagine. Loudest they've been yet. Throw downfield to Smallwood. And boy, if that tackle isn't made at the 25 yard. That in, in between the safety in the corner and a two deep coverage. And those are dangerous throws. You either, sometimes those get picked off or you blow up your wide receiver. Got to run it here, nowhere to go for Shell. He tried to run on first down several times here in the second half. Ball on the ground, but a rule that should get lined up and make their adjustments. And I imagine some choice words at halftime probably help. Out on the open field is Shell, and Shell is loose past the 40-yard line. He stepped out of bounds at the 47. Bring itself in this game. See the official holding the ball down as uh, there was a substitution issue. West Virginia now has 14 plays, 10 yards or longer. We got the ball near midfield, first and 10. And Trickett's pass is pulled in at the 40-yard line. There's a no-traded priest. And here's Kevin White inside the 35-yard line. Out of bounds inside the 30. Yep. From the 27 of Alabama. Here's Dustin Garrison, only had four attempts last year because of an injury, took a, a medical red shirt. A little bit of rest, and, you know, in the past, early years of Dana Holgerson, he'd be on the gas pedal all the time, but now I think he's got a, a much broader view of the game and protecting his defense. They spread it out here. Trickett going to the middle of the field, and White was open again the pass just behind him. To your left in front. Trick it on third down and long, over the middle. It is juggled and dropped. Another opportunity. 47 yards. Perfectly thrown ball from Trickett right around Reuben Foster again in the middle of the field. And I don't think Foster tipped that. That's just a drop. By He's downfield for, for your team. In order to beat Alabama, you, you can't have that many drops. 42-yard attempt by Lambert. And this time, he's good. So West Virginia able to the safety last year from Wisconsin and uh, you hit the nail on the head Greece It's about having athleticism forcing the defense to have to defend all 11 players Particularly with the quarterback running. It'll be interesting to see that new look Wisconsin tonight Big game for them and the Big Ten Only Big Ten SEC matchup. Here's Christian Jones on the kickoff return and Jones is met and dropped at the 25 yard line by shake the mental aspect off the play to Blake Sim. Play action pass for the former running back. Sims pass on the money. First down catch for Amari Cooper at the 40 yard line. No before this. From the 41 yard line, here's Derek Henry. And he gets maybe a yard there, brought down by Kwiatkowski. You no, know, Brian, it's so interesting that you referenced that. Sims on second down and long. Everybody covered. And now Sims going to air it out. And boy, the defender fell asleep. And Christian Jones dropped the ball. K.J. Dillon had deep safety, and he just gets turned around. I mean, it looks bad. And you're right, he falls asleep. Thought that uh, the ball was thrown so high up in the air, he didn't know where the football was. And normally, sure-handed, Chris Jones turned his head to, to run before he brought it in. And that's kept his eyes downfield the yeah. entire play. 
Third down and nine. Big play here. They bring pressure. Sims gets out of there. Showing off his running skills. Heading for the first down. But stepped out. And now. After the play. A sportsman of chip like conduct. On the defense, number 13, 15-yard penalty, first yeah. down. Yeah, that's a guy that's not on the 2-D. Yeah, it's a, Andrew Bowie with Sean Walters. They both were at number 13. It's Walters. Sean Walters, yeah. Watch, he's standing on the sideline, and Sims goes out of bounds and jumps up. That's just dumb. What are you doing if you're Sean Walters? Looked like he got caught by surprise. Yeah, but why would you push him? <laughs> I don't You're know. begging I, for a penalty. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah, you can't throw a flag on that. <laughs> First down at the 38-yard line. Big hole for Yeldon inside the 25-yard line. They finally get to him at the 19. A gain of 19 for T.J. Yeldon. This is a trap play. Watch the tight end, Howard. He's going to come across the formation and kick out. Very well done. And T.J. Elton has the patience to wait for the block and find that seam. First time they've run that play, and it caught West Virginia by surprise. A quick tempo here. Alabama up to the line in the red zone. Yeldon again finds another hole and steamrolls a couple defenders to the 12. No different. Sims throwing a fade to the end zone and knocked away. Cooper, the intended receiver. Out of that list and single back here, I'd be surprised if it's not some kind of run. Two tight ends. It's Yeldon and he is brought down short of the first down by Kyle Rose. Then 40 yards, this is a 27 yard try. Snap a little high, but the kick is good. And Alabama leads it by 10 late in the third quarter. Let's go to picking the four teams, the four best teams. And almost running it out of the end zone was Alford after he had a kick return for a score in the first half. You know, as we see Alabama's defense take the field right now, we were talking about Reuben Foster and pass cover. Where to drop in certain situations is one of the toughest things to, to learn. Here's that touch shovel pass on the end around. This time it doesn't work. Jordan Thompson dropped by Nick Perry for a loss. Again, we see quick throw to the sideline, and there's room for Alford. Out at the 28-yard line, so five. They'll bring Kevin White in motion. Trickett firing deep and what a grab! Wow, Jordan Thompson almost and he makes up for it here. Bradley Silv, terrible fundamentals there. He's he in every situation they throw the ball up on Silv, it's come down with it. Great throw by Trickett there. He might get a big play. Play action and Trickett rolling to his lap. Throws back across his body, and the catch is made at the five. Games against big teams last year, 130 yards against Baylor, 89 against Texas, 80 against Oklahoma. And you're right, it is Spain. They're outstanding. Low goal. Trying to avoid it happening a second time. Play action, trick it, wide open, but they cannot execute. Wellman unable to come up with it. Second incompletion for Trickett on this possession. Throwing again, going to the end zone, and incomplete. It was Kevin White, Cyrus Jones. And the snap is over Trickett's head. He just has to fall on it. Now it'll be a long field goal game. It's a 41-yard attempt. And the kick is good. Well, Alabama on top by seven, and the tie will get the ball. Here's Christian Jones. Past the 20. Full head of steam. And he's brought down to the 25-yard line. Can we expect it to be the other way around? West Virginia's had the ball for just 18 minutes. Blake Sims in his first start at quarterback. Dangerous throw, and it's picked off by Darrell Worley. 
Worley being chased and gets out of bounds. First turnover by Blake Sim. Secondary as well on the return. First time he's tried to get the ball to O.J. Howard in the seam. Problem is, you have to control the corners on the outside, and you got to know that if there's nothing holding the corner on the outside, here he is right here. Howard's going to come up, and he's just going to fall off and cut it on the inside. And you got to know if you're Blake Sims that I have no control on the outside, and that corner is going to read my eyes. That's just a, a young, not a young player, but a player with a not a whole lot, not a whole lot of experience trying to force the ball down the field. Now there was holding on the return, so it's West Virginia ball, but they lose a ton of yardage. Kiffin thought it was going to be a big play. He, he saw Howard open, but it's intercepted. Great play by Worley. Had a pick last year. Started just four games a year ago. This situation, the down and distance, 13 and a half minutes left. Since he had to manage that moment and turns the football over. But they lose about 20 yards on the penalty. Here's Trickett trying to set up the screen to Smallwood. Able to slip a tackle and get into Alabama tour territory. Lane Kiffin gave himself away on the sideline, too. He thought he had what he wanted. The design of that play was, was flawed, in my opinion. They run it here, and pushing the pile is Smith. Only a couple yards, though, so th third and five. Trickett downfield. Juggled and incomplete. A big hit as Jordan Thompson got nailed by Landon Collins. And he will make you pay. Clean hit, shoulder into the chest. And he had already dropped the ball. He had dropped the ball before. The cut. They're going to punt here. So again, that 20 yards because of the holding penalty on the return was big. They'd be in field goal range otherwise. Instead of the punt, Jones under it. And fair caught at the 12-yard line. So the mistake by Blake Sims does not hurt out handle things deep in their own end. Well, they run it here on first down after throwing it on first down last series. They will. T.J. Yeldon past the 20-yard line. They're trying to strip it, but Yeldon too strong with the ball takes it out to the 30. They had to think that they were going to just going to cut back here. They had to think it was going to be run after your quarterback throws an interception. They sell out. They brought the blitz off the edge. They just guess wrong and get gashed. And Alabama goes up tempo, but there was movement by the tide. Ball start. Offense, number 72, five-yard pin. You're going to take a seat on the bench with me. So first down and 15. They've got Fowler, the fullback, in here. Yeldon trying to bust it to the outside. Yeldon drilled out of play at the 40-yard line. Good game, though. Seven. So second down and seven. Sims wide open is Cooper. And Cooper now with 12 catches, one shy of a school record, gets to midfield. That's how smooth he is out of his breaks. Doesn't have to, doesn't have to slow down to break. And then when he gets the ball in his hand, he's got great moves. He's very shifty when he gets the football in his hands. And that Alabama and Blake Sims want to throw the ball, they're going to have man-to-man -man coverage on the outside with Cooper. Henry gets the call here into the secondary. And let's get one more stop. Alabama early in the fourth, leading by seven. Henry again straight on. And dives to the 35. A four-yard. Yeldon. And stood up at the 33. I mean, third down and about four here. Third and four. Stay on the field. you got to make the throw. And Sims rolling out. Short pass caught by Christian Jones for a first down. He had freshman Cam Sims out there blocking in the route. And, uh, Steve Young on down the line. That's, that's going to be one of those top calls in the game plan in this offense. It'll be a little bit different than before. Bring the fullback back in here. West Virginia stacks the box. Yeldon tracked down from behind by Carl Joseph. Uh, we continue to have that question. Linebacker has got to continue to be a question. I'd be traded Priest back, but those are two questions that uh, that I think they're going to continue to have as, as the first month of the season goes on. Here's Sims off play action, and Jones dropped it. Then it was almost picked off on, on that. Can't take a sack, though. Put him on a field goal range. And Sims going to throw 
A little bubble screen, Yeldon trying to keep the feet moving. He's wrapped up, minimal gain. It is fourth down. Here's playmaking ability, but you got to do what you got to do. Griffith, 45-yard attempt, and he has been perfect today. Got a couple more games tonight on ABC and ESPN, Wisconsin, LSU, and ESPN, Florida State, Oklahoma State here on ABC. They won't even give Alford a chance at another return. He took it to the house in the first half. This will come out to the 25. So with a diamond formation. And here's Shell trying to power to the 30-yard line. He's stuck at the 28. Dalvin Tomlinson. Here's Smallwood, and he won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the ball came out and recovered by West Virginia. So they actually win this game. They spread it out here, third down and seven. No linebackers in the middle of the field. And Trickett throws over the middle, incomplete. Unable to come up with it was sh sure Shorts could probably make this play, but this is an easy throw for the quarterback. Just a little bit high. Shorts is 6-1, and it's going to be the little things. They were just off a little bit. Dropped some balls. Trickett was outstanding most of the game, but that was a critical miss. Great punt here. Jones backing up to his 14-yard line. And nowhere to go. Wrapped up at the 11-yard line. Keep it on the ground here. West Virginia loading up to stop the run. And Yeldon busting it to the outside. Here comes a flag. Yeldon pushed out. And near the 40-yard line, but likely catches for 130 yards. Looked like he had a hold of a jersey. Illegal block in the back. First and 14 officially at the nine. Yeldon gets across the 10 to about the 13 yard. Not the biggest guy in the world. If he can stay healthy, they have a lot of weapons in Kevin White. If he can get mentally past that or that hurdle, they can they can challenge in the Big 12 and certainly be better than four and eight. Henry on second down gets a handful. Earl Joseph on the, the D-Day for a decision at, at quarterback. And you've got to you gotta have somebody back there against that defense. Sims on third down. Has a completion to Chris Black right at the first down marker. And he's got it. Move the chains for the tie. One on one on the weak side. And I'll tell you, with the game on the line, they're only up 10. Older injury. Don't know if that'll be more than just today, but they do have depth. Here's Henry again to the 28. Another run play and second down. Henry passed the 30. You would think that Nick Saban next week, if there's a healthy lead against Florida Atlantic in the week after against Southern Miss, that we're going to see Jay Cook. Drills, he gets into a team drill and looks like a different player. And, and that's not a good thing as a quarterback, obviously. And, and that's, that's the reason that he had, did not start this game and didn't play in this game. Timeout, Alabama. Their first charge, 30-second timeout. Uh, last season. Hurt his knee, but healthy now. Third down and two, and Henry close to the first down. We'll see where they spot it at the 34-yard line. The two inside backers, Witkowski and Tonkery team. A lot of interesting dynamics to, to this conversation as it brings up a fourth down. But you know the fact that that Blake Sims and 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 the special teams has to play better. But uh, you know I I think he I think he's earned another start. But by that Florida game, they have to make a decision. And a fair catch made inside the 30-yard line by Thompson. Let's check in with Robert Flores in the studio. Now, it's great to see Todd Gurley healthy, one of the most explosive players in the country. Trick it. And it's pulled in by Smallwood at the 47-yard line. And West Virginia can need to get a touchdown here. If they get down in there and, and it's fourth down, they need to kick a field goal. Trick it to the sideline. Here's Kevin White. And pushed out of bounds, so they'll stop the clock. 2-10 remaining in the half. Nick Saban told us we usually run about 60-65. They've run 81 plays. Trick it in trouble. Sack inside the 40-yard line. I've just got some quicks. Third down and 18. A swing pass to White. He'll get a chunk of it back here. 
He won't go down. Tackled inbounds, so the clock continues to run, and it's fourth down. Emma, well, the game's over. Trickett has to throw it short, and the Tide will take over on downs. I don't know if Clint Trickett knew it was fourth down. For to say two years of eligibility with Alabama, and there were too many guys in the huddle, so penalty flag. Flag, flag, flag. Illegal substitution. On the offense, number 13, five-yard penalty, first down. That might have been the first rep for our Darius Stewart tonight and perhaps his last. Take a breath. You know, you can exhale. <laughs> There's a lot going on with that young man. A lot of butterflies in this game. And to come out with a victory, most important, number one. And number two uh, is to have action. It was interesting on the sideline. A lot more interaction than I anticipated. Yeah, we didn't think we'd see... Saban is close to Kiffin throughout the game as, as we did. And in some of the huddles on offense, Drake brought down the line of scrimmage.